Canals and rivers have long been a source of inspiration for artists, and there's a rich tradition of great art associated with the waterways. Tide, London and Simon Tarrant's latest exhibition at the London Canal Museum, reflects this. I had uh, an idea to do an exhibition for the last couple of years, and I, a lot of the paintings I do are about uh, the, sea, the sea and the water uh, around us. Uh, so I wanted to find a, a place to, that would re reflect that. So I came up with the idea of a, a water-related venue and I looked across London. Uh, I couldn't find anything suitable until I came to the London Canal Museum, which is actually on the, the Regent's Canal. The canal is, is a very much a getaway place, a, a place for leisure, a green corridor through London. So uh, you can see why it inspires artists. This summer, the Canal and River Trust have vastly expanded their Arts on the Waterways programme, with more commissions and events than ever before, using the waterways as cultural capillaries. Ambitions include a world-class sculpture walk by the River Lee, a theatre project with the Royal Shakespeare Company and teenagers from Stratford, and a floating cinema, travelling from London to Bristol. You have been blown away by the number and range of different artists who've been inspired by this programme and want to do things on the water. So we've had, we've had comedians, we've had writers, we've had poets, we've had, uh, we've had theatre, we've had sculptures, sculptors um, and, and film producers as well. So this year has been our best year on record for filming on the waterways with everything from TV programmes and advertising but also big budget shoots like James Bond and Mission Impossible. Our historic canals, rivers and docks provide extraordinary public and cultural spaces. These projects are about working with artists to engage communities in new ways to appreciate the wonder and importance of our waterways while creating great art in the process. Brenda Imanis, BBC London News.